right, it is the time for day seven of the Arcanium mod. So, we finished UVHM story, we farmed up a bunch of normal, like normal base game content equipment. We're gonna start doing our DLCs. We're gonna do Torg DLC. There are 15 new items in there. A lot of them are locked behind tier three completions. So we'll see what we do about that. And then there is also, I, I wanna do like pirate DLC, hopefully if we have time. But also Pyro Pete has like four dedicated drops. So we might need to get an amigo to pop his faceplate off or get a trespasser to do it. I think Divergence can do it because we've seen it pure shield before, so we could try that as well. But we're gonna have to do some raiding today. So let's not waste any time. I'm just gonna start running. We might actually get to test out our funny little pearl sniper rifle here. The only problem is it's it's definitely made for big raiding or big DPSing. And I do not have anything that needs that right now. So I'm never going to abuse the infinite ammo properly on it. I'd probably be better off using an like a architect, honestly. But we do what we do. Okay, I'm kind of getting some use out of the extra fire rate and extra, like, infinite ammo duration. Not as often as I want to, but it helps. Okay, so tier one of Barroom Blitz is done. Is there anything tied to Barroom Blitz? Yes, a rocket launcher. Okay, we'll get that real quick. Alright, and the Mayhem. The killing an enemy stacks bonus weapon damage and splash radius up to 11 times. Stacks decay after not killing some anything for an extended period of time. Okay. Okay, so we've just got a good old-fashioned stack-em-up rocket launcher. I am down. Oh yeah, this thing, it has no self-damage. Oh. And it pierces. Okay, so we could just shoot this at our feet and then also splash enemies behind walls. Interesting. That's definitely not going to get abused. Also, let me throw on my B-Shield, wait for it to recharge. I kind of want to see what our damage is going to look like whenever we fight Raid Pete. So I figure, why not just... Go ahead and preemptively test it out a little bit. Honestly, since that just pierces his existence, I, I mean, I wanted to use it to crack faceplate, but I could just use it to, to just crack him. That might not be a bad idea. We might need a new B shield, though. Looks like our damage is a little lower than I wanted, but we're good. All right, it's time for the funny death race. So, when you start the death race, you can spawn a car and immediately start driving away. The timer will keep counting down. You can get a good gap going. If you run the barrel technical, it is the fastest boosting car in the game. So it is a good idea as well. And we're gonna need it because we're get we're gonna have to do tier three death race here because there's a drop. And Blitzkrieg bonus walking speed while moving deal increased gun damage. The faster you move, the greater the bonus. Oh, okay. So the bonus at walk speed is 62.6% .6 more damage. And then moving faster than that is even more damage? That... Hmm. Interesting. Long zone all over again. I'm interested. Alright. Motor Mama. I'm gonna go for a boar. Hopefully she gets stuck. 
Or I can just do that. Cool. Alright. You don't drop anything, do you? Oh, she does have a drop. It's another rocket launcher. Oh boy. Okay. Alright. The Maelstrom Time 16. Oh. I see. Oh, no. Oh. Alright. Does this do self-damage? Hold on. No. Okay. Okay, so number one, Fan has a thing. And I'm just gonna kinda crouch right here. Oh, hey. Social Psycho. Also, oh, I'm out of ammo. So, the Social Psycho deals melee damage. Okay. That might work with Killing Blow. If it does, that'd be really fun. I doubt it works with Backstab. But if it did, that'd be really funny too. Alright, interesting. We'll keep that in mind. Alright, say that to my face. I think, yeah, Anonymous Troll is from this quest and he has a drop. Anonymous Troll. Let me just try to get closer. He's gonna backpedal away because, you know, they're just kind of made to do that. This consumes a lot of ammo per shot. But we're good. So I guess we turn in this quest and do it again. Oh. Don't mind the fact that there are two. We have Boom Fist. So, increases melee and explosive damage. Melee attacks create an explosion that damages nearby enemies. Wait. So, like, this? Paired with the Social Stabber? Or Social Psycho? This could be a, a pairing. I'm interested. Maybe we have to switch to a melee build and use a gun. Yeah. That's something. Wait, can I just look straight down and get a lot of the pellets to hit the floor? Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so like, almost... Almost a half to hit the ground. Not, not quite. The Red Baron. What are you? <laughs> oh, okay. I thought it was just reverse gravity and that looked really goofy. Okay. And it definitely does a little bit of self damage. Got it. Cool. So, pistons, blimp. Seems good. Okay, so I don't have to deal with Reflect, but I do have to deal with this boss still being trash. So, slowly but surely. There we go. Finally got BA Rex to turn. Okay, and now for Piston. Honestly, thank goodness. I'm glad that was easier. And for long way to the top, the promoter. 
Fires an additional projectile for each other Torg item equipped. That's kind of nice. I wonder if that's strong at max effect. Hold on, let's put that on. Oh, it doesn't count weapons. It only counts, like, these. Ah. Okay, so it's not as funny as I thought it was going to be. Never mind. Uh, still neat idea. It's, that's going to go in my backpack forever now. All right, mother lover. Oh, hey, it dropped. Well, uh, hold on, let me respawn. And it is Titus. What do you do? Oh. Oh, reflecty boy. I damage reflecty boy. Okay, this could be silly, I guess. Kind of does some amount of, like, Octo-type stuff. Hmm. That's neat. Okay. The C-Spot. Critical hit stack, bonus crit damage up to six times. Stacks decay after not scoring critical critical hits for some time. Plus one percent life steal. Okay. So you could have a Moxie Jacobs. That's kind of neat. We'll have to take this back to Sanctuary to test the crit on it because I am not gonna hit six crits very consistently with this. Hey buddy. That's a pretty good stacking damage bonus. Also, I do have one shot, one kill. Okay. Alright, commercial appeal. I need to put on Torg weapons and get kills. And for the quest reward, booming business. Killing an enemy with explosive damage returns a grenade to your reserve. That would be kind of nice on an accident or something like that. And the apprentice. Wait, cryo. Wait. Huh? Wait. What do you mean, cryo? Do something. Ow, okay, I see. <laughs> okay. My bad. Let me go find a volunteer. So how long is the fuse? 6.4? Okay. I'm assuming it starts with like a 3 fuse, like naturally, and anything beyond that will just like make it worse. Alright. Don't dodge. Please. Ambush bonus, go. Nice. And I got my nade back because I'm holding the funny nade return thing. Okay. So it takes a little bit of leading. Hmm. The fuse might be a little long. But what are you going to do? That still works, though. Alright. It's time to treat Pyro Pete in a legitimate and fair manner. Oh, I actually got his faceplate off. Get farmed. Alright, now I just need him to face me.
we go. Heat is down. So he drops four items. So this might take a little while. We'll kind of just see. All right, we got Pete's propellant. So one item down. Status effect damage, chance, and duration up. That's kind of nice. Okay. Could run that with the days, maybe. Something like that could be pretty cool. Oh, Pyro Pete's Fulmination. Releases a Pyrocaustic Nova Blast when depleted. Must fully recharge between Novas. Grants immunity to burn and corrode damage. That's actually really useful. Huh, that's cool. Okay, I see it. Pyro Pete's Primer. Flat off nade that does fire and corrosive. Oh, that's neat. I like that. Oh, hey. <laughs> it's the Jotun. This was supposed to drop from Snowman way back when, and I never got it. So, damaged enemies are slowed. That, that appears to be its effect. Oh, and it shoots. Ooh. Okay, that's sick. Man, I wish I would have seen this earlier now, but that's super cool. And Pyro Eats a flame stoker. So lots of burn damage. Collapse all I see. Okay. Oh, there's corrosive too. That's cool. That reload is super slow, but that's cool. So we could kind of just be Pete. Interesting. We might go into Hammerlock DLC next because it's one of the shorter ones with one of the least amount of equipment. So yeah, let's let's just do that. All right, boys. There's the green. That's cool. I did go ahead and put on the relic too, just to add to the spice. so cool also we're probably going to swap into a melee build here in a second because we are level 69 and we can use that social psycho now but i just wanted to see this at least for a second shoot pete's gun swap to days See a Nova go off, feel kind of good about it. That's cool. To do a melee build, we're going to need a melee shield. We can go get the Walloper. That'd probably work pretty well with Boom Fist as well. Okay, yeah, let's go gather some equipment. But I think it's, it's pokey time. Now, I do have to imagine this gun is going to be better on a Krieg. Because Krieg has STV active at all times. Is what I was going to say. Okay, yeah, that's a that's much more my expectation. Ooh, we do get backstab with this. And killing blow procs. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, and it's alkaline. Ooh, brother. All right, we have an alkaline walloper. Let's go, the melee build is back. And it's gonna trigger resurgence too because those count as melee kills. Ooh, that's nice. But we just need to really like keep rolling and we'll do well. Okay. Just casually using it, it's good. So that's fun. 
It looks like the explosion does get buffed by killing blow, and then that can splash other nearby enemies. So that's funny. Hmm. Favorite melee build. Fake melee. You become an ad clear monster with Mini Must Fall with the relic on too. Ooh, that's interesting. That's very interesting. I know it's not into like level 80 plus content, but that's nice. That's real good. Oh, we got it. So, it is the chameleon. This gun just does matching element against whatever you shoot at it, doesn't it? Yes, but is that also explosive I see, or is that non-element? That is also explosive. Okay, that's pretty cool, and it does reasonable damage for what it is. I can get behind that. Ooh, I could run like the wind with this build since execute isn't being used, because, you know, like the wind doesn't work with execute since you're considered stationary while it's active. Ooh. 15% more damage for me, I guess. Alright, Thermitage. Drop it. Or drop both of them, actually, I guess. Snake Bite, okay. So, we got one of the drops. Let's see, what do you do? Dealing gun damage increases melee damage for a short time. Dealing melee damage increases gun damage for a short time. This is just be like water. Wait, does this gun trigger be like water? It probably doesn't. But that's cool. Oh, I think it dropped. It did. The blackout. Wait, is this a slag Vladoff nade? <gasps> Continually damage enemies while they are within the air the grenade's area of influence, and it is slag. Okay, I need to level up so I can try that out because that is cool. Funny Rakanoth quest. Easy. Now we just need to get the drop to drop. Hey. All right. So the dragonfly critical hits spawn three homing darts that deal fire damage. There's dribbles. There was dribbles, and we got a drop first try. What a nice change. The Locust times 20. Oh, wait, does this home? Ooh, it does. This seems kind of strong. This is kind of strong. Okay. Well, there we go. Dribbles is done. Alright. Everyone's favorite friend. At least I don't have the chance to reflect on myself. That's cool, at least. Could also just try to go for boar, I think. Oh wait, hold on. I have a launcher perfectly made for this boss. Kind of. We just need to get two drops. 
No problem. All right, a couple of wound spikes later, please. A couple of wound spikes later, we have the disturbance. Critical hits cause an explosion that damages nearby enemies. Okay, cloud strike. I mean, it's going to be near impossible to crit on these guys, so we'll hold on to this, but cool. All right, and then we have the blister. I am all but what am I? I have no idea what this is. We'll have to wait until we can actually equip it. Or actually, I guess real quick, let's go to Bloodshot, shoot a single man, and see what the explosive on our sniper is like. Okay, so the explosion on the sniper is actually a little bit stronger than the crit. So that's kind of really nice. Okay. Oh, right. I am buffing explosive damage right now. So it's supposed to be, like, equal to the damage of the crit. That makes more sense. Still cool, though. And it's time for everyone's favorite DLC boss. Actually, let's be honest, most of the bosses in Hammerlock DLC, people just kind of like eat towards. But I think we'll be okay here. Oh, nope, there it goes. Okay. Where is my resurgence at? Well, I guess I'm probably killing them with the explosions right now, so I'm not really getting resurgence happening. Please. Thank you. Oh, hey. One of the drops. Okay, cool. Also, yellow jacket. So, wait, does this mean I don't need to farm this? I don't need to farm Jackenstein. What a good day it is. Also, we have our blister now, so... What? Wait. <laughs> huh? That's a boar gun for sure. Okay, interesting. But the Cacodemon... Baby Mongol? That's kind of neat. Okay. I like it. That's very nice. Oh, right. The blackout grenade. I almost forgot. I'll need a test subject for this, but we can hopefully watch it eventually. It, it tucked itself in a corner. Never mind. I'll find a volunteer. We'll go back to Bloodshot real quick. Alright. Ooh. Okay, so it just keeps emitting little explosions all over to apply the slag. I get it. I like that. Honestly, it might use that over using, uh, like, a normal slag nade. Because that's a lot of purple. Oh, the explosions are just visual effect. Okay. And from turning in main quest, the Wrangler. Is this just a, reg a pair of jeans? Am I putting on jeans right now? Uh, deflect chance, damage reduction, and plus to non-elemental damage. Okay, that's kind of cool. That could be fun for a Jacob's Allegiance or something. You'd have to deal with the entirety of Hammerlock DLC, but I'd... Yeah, sure. Well... We've gotten everything else from the DLC except for Vora's drops, so here's hoping that that goes well, because I have about 20 minutes. Oh boy. Okay, so realistically, probably not going to win this fight today, but we might use the kill command to check the drops anyway. Although that's not a bad start. And then there goes my health bar. Yeah, Vora's spicy. We'll have to 
Let's see how this one goes. Oh, and we have an alkaline immune walloper. Okay, get away from the boss. We're gonna be very, very careful and wait for many, many r rounds of loot midgets to spawn in. Okay. I mean, I shouldn't try to poke through the shield because, you know, that's not worth it. But that's not bad. Ow. Please. Thank you. Just kill me already, thank you. I need an at-level damage nade, actually. That's what I should be using. I want to try to use your silly guns to bore. What if I just blow them up? <laughs> it's not gonna work. But, like, imagine, though. You know what, though? That's not a bad start. It's totally doable, though. I would just need better healing, which means going to other DLCs, getting, like, a Chain Lightning or something like that. You know, like your traditional Melee Zero equipment. But instead, we're gonna cheat. <laughs> For now, we'll come back again. All right, the Frenzy of Vora, placeholder text. Uh, so, deals roid damage, checks out. Uh, when your shield breaks, become enraged for 10 seconds. While enraged, gain 50% movement speed, fire rate, and gun damage. Okay, your shield will not, uh, cannot naturally recharge while enraged, okay. So, on shield break, you get an extra 10 seconds of recharge delay, and it buffs all of that stuff by 50%. That's cool. Oh, hey. Would you look at that? The pearl. Alright, so. Bedlam. Each magazine gains two random bonus effects. Bonuses change on reload or weapon swap. Okay, so explosive bullets and increased fire rate. Accuracy and increased fire rate, I'm assuming. Or that's crit. That might be crit. Explosion and multi shots. Fire rate and fire rate. Okay. Have we seen them all? Double explosion. Oh, it is accuracy next update, but next update is getting changed to crit. Okay. What is that? I don't know what this effect is supposed to be. Is it money shot? Wait. Oh, okay. It's just a bonus damage. Okay. So, okay. It rolls between fire rate, damage, accuracy, which will turn into crit next time, and explosive impacts. Alright. It's pretty fun. And it's not too hard. You could just do that to just re-roll it a couple times if you really wanted to. Just until you get something that you need to see, or you want to see. It's the funny quotation mark shield... 
cruising. Look at it. All right. So that is all I have time for for today. But we got two DLCs knocked out. We've got a bunch of shiny objects from them. We're probably going to start with Pirate DLC next time. And then I want to do Tina DLC. And then I'll finally do Lilith DLC. And then we'll work all the way down to Son of Craw. There is some stuff from Digipeak, and I should do some OP10 testing. I'm on a little bit of a time crunch, so I don't know if I'll be able to get everything tested. So we'll just kind of see how it goes day by day. But this has been really cool. Day 7. <laughs>